Let's uh, let's do the raw report. Did you watch it? <clears throat> no. I did. I oh. did. Sorry. The cough was just going to happen. I've been trying to fight this thing the entire show. But uh, <laughs> yes, I did. It, it, it obviously. We it just had a break, up. you know. You could have coughed your, your brains out during that I, break. I did. I did. I did. That's wow. where I went. Yeah. Did you, do you even turn and look at the monitor when I'm. No, when, I was busy chatting because I'm a good host. <laughs> I chat with the people in the chat <laughs> thing. Hey, did you put up a poll for them to see what uh, if they believe? We should do that on Twitter if they people believe that Lashley is a heel or a babyface. I don't care Same what they Seth think. Rollins. I want to know. I want to know if he is or if he isn't. That's it. And I'm saying, yes. let's see. All right. I was looking through <laughs> if I had anything important that came in during the break while I was chatting. Did so you- it opened up with, uh, dude, the show like. This show was closer to a Vince show. It's still better than a Vince show. But the uh, the honeymoon period is over. It's the same show every week. And, bro, how much talking do I need on a show? It's the same pattern every week. People come out. They talk for like 12 straight minutes. Well, I try not to sneeze here. I think See, you, you, you could have did this say. during the break. No, Too I couldn't busy be chatting with your friends nah, there, just, your buddies. Just came on. But anyway, uh, dudes come out. They talk and talk and talk and talk, all to set up a match that then goes 15 minutes. That was a magic number here tonight, 15 minutes. We had 14 minutes, and we had 16 minutes, and 17 minutes, and 16 minutes, and then two that were like four minutes. But virtually everyone opened up with, we're going to come out, and we're going to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and then we're going to have a match. Now, the good news is this match was great. It was Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch against Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio. I know you guys hate Dominic. This bro's getting better every week. These, these people hate this guy, <laughs> and he's turned into a really good troll, and he also has no problem going in there and just getting beaten up right and left. Like, every time he tags in, he gets killed, and then he flees to the corner to tag out. I enjoy this uh, this Dominic. But in the end, he was killed. And Seamus beat the stuffing out of him as a Halloween, a Thanksgiving reference. And then Bro kicked him and pinned him. Fans loved seeing Dominic get killed. And then afterwards, we had a big brawl. Kevin Owens hit Finn Balor with a stunner. Good guys posed, and that was that. Then we had a total 100% Vince McMahon segment, and not in a good way. Johnny Gargano is supposed to wrestle The Miz again. The last time there was interference, Gargano got beaten. He wants no interference this time. He says, next week it's Miz and Dexter Loomis. I will not interfere in Dexter's match. Dexter's not going to interfere in my match. So he goes out to face The Miz. The Miz comes out. He goes, my hands hurt. Hurt at making a TikTok. But don't worry. I have a suitable replacement. It is Omos. Omos comes out. He kills Johnny Gargano. He misses a charge into the corner. He falls down, gets super kicked a couple times. Gargano goes up top. He leaps off into a choke slam. And he is pinned clean in the middle of the ring in three minutes. God help me. God help me. You wanted something else? Yeah, not this at all. Why? Would it be Why? WWE? Would it be WWE wrestling if you didn't have this? Yes, that's the point. That's all <laughs> WWE wrestling. I'm ready for a change. Well. I I get that he's small and the other guy is big. You don't have to show me how small he is and make him a geek a month after he debuts. But this is also just, look, Gargano's a cog in the machine. And as long as he doesn't turn into Ali, he's being utilized in a storyline where at the end of it, he's going to get the best of Miz or he's going to help Dexter Loomis get the best of Miz and embarrass Miz and show Miz's ass. So I'm not down on it yet. Plus, you just had Omas get beat in Saudi Arabia, correct? If I he did lose that match and so you're going to rehab him by beating a guy who's in this match looked like he was 5 feet tall and 100 pounds. 
Yeah, but at wow. least Gargano, that's who else is going to, if you're going to hire and employ Omas, like somebody's got to try to make him look good. And I'm, again, I don't think Gargano did get killed in the match. I don't think this was a burial of Gargano or anything like that. Again, especially when you have somebody like Ali on the same show week after well, week after yeah, week. Well, what kind of a comparison is that? Yes, can... Ali is a bigger geek than Johnny Gargano. Yeah, but it's Johnny Gargano, Gargano can still be a geek. But if Gargano was being treated being treated like Drew Gulak or Tozawa every week, that would be one thing. But look, this whole storyline is stupid. But it's not like Gargano's been a fool throughout the whole thing, you Bro, know. Again, did you I watch the show last week? I did. Tozawa had a significantly, significantly better showing against Baron Corbin than this bloke had against Omos. Then we had He's Seth Rollins blown out of proportion. Seth Rollins doing this stupid interview. He's laughing. He's being a an idiot. Who set up the lighting? Why does he get custom lighting now? Who cares? Anyway, he's mad at theory. And then, I never thought this would happen. Seth was so stupid and annoying in this segment that when theory came on and he wasn't doing any of his selfie gimmick, he was just cutting a serious promo about how he was going to win his title back. I was like, bro, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm way more behind Austin Theory right now. I would much rather see him doing promos than Seth Rollins. <sighs> Then we had Theory versus Ali. Uh, the whole story, again, is Theory, he's no joke anymore. And he goes out there. He doesn't talk about being young. He doesn't want to be called young anymore. He doesn't do the selfies. He just went out there. He beat this dude up, and he pinned him with his finisher. So, hey, they're trying with Austin Theory, which they weren't for a long time. So then Theory goes to attack Ali afterwards. Lashley appears on the big screen. He says, I'm heading down to the ring. They go to commercial. They come back. He's made it all the way to the ramp. It's a big building. He's got a hamstring. You know? He gets his mic and he goes, I can't believe you're still in the ring. I thought you'd be running by now. So Theory cuts his cocky promo. I ain't running. I ain't afraid of you. I'm going to walk out on Saturday, the new United States champion. And Bobby Lashley, who's not a great promo, he, he and it's not like his delivery, like, uh, how can I say it? He stumbles over his words, and he's not like, uh, you know, he's not like me, for example, a silver tongue devil. But his delivery, when he started stepping through the ropes and Theory has said, I'm leaving Saturday with that United States ch title, I'm, I'm doing a Bobby Lashley here. And then Lashley steps through the ropes and he goes, brother, I don't even think you're leaving tonight. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. And Theory knew he was screwed. And, man, that guy goes running. And he ran for his life from Bobby Lashley. Well, give him credit. At least when Lashley got in there, they did exchange punches. So that's another little change in theory, whereas maybe he would have run before. Again, part of tearing him down and building him back up. Yes, is he still going to run as a, like a heel when things get bad? Yes, he will. But at least he did actually stand in there a tiny bit. But not So he long. runs for his life. He gets backstage. He hides behind Ali. Lashley comes through the tunnel. And Theory shoves Ollie into him and then goes running. Now, Theory, he leaves, and Ollie is angry that Lashley got thrown into him. And so Ollie shoves Lashley because he's an idiot. So Lashley proceeds to absolutely, once again, kill Ollie. He beat him senseless. And the fans are cheering, and Bobby Lashley's flexing, and they're like, yeah, you killed Ollie again. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? I enjoyed it. I enjoy big, bad Bobby Lashley talking trash and killing blokes. That was fun. Then we had Matt Riddle and Elias. Matt Riddle and Elias against the Alpha Academy. As a team, they finally teamed up this week because Elias is back. They won, and the announcers put over, my God, what, what chemistry these two have as a team. So I think for, like, the next several months or whatever, while we wait for whatever's going on with Randy Orton, 
Matt Riddle and Elias are going to be a tag team, fighting for the tag team titles. Got to do something with him, right? Right. Then we had a segment backstage where, uh, here's another one. Like, who is writing this stuff? Drew McIntyre shows up for the poker game, and JBL makes fun of him. Drew McIntyre challenges Baron Corbin to a match in the ring. Baron Corbin, who is supposed to be a heel, goes, dude, let's do it right now. And Drew McIntyre, who has been challenged to a fight right now, says, I respect my elders. And he looks over at JBL. And then he adds, but I don't respect you. And he sucker punches. He sucker punched Corbin and then booked it out of there. And as he's like 50 feet away, he goes, I'll see you in the ring if you have the guts. I like him. He has the guts. And then Corbin gets up and he goes, sucker punched me. And I'm like, he did. Hey. What was talk, that? Talk that trash. That's what happens to you. Talk trash. Yeah. Wait a second. Corbin challenged him to a fight in the ring. Mm, yeah. Corbin yeah. stood up for himself and said, I'll fight you right here, right now. Yeah. And then McIntyre acts like, nah, not going to do it. And then no, sucker punches him. He just and then said runs. That, he just said that he respected his elders. If that's where Baron Corbin thought he was going with it, well, that's Baron Corbin's fault. You're the worst it? baby face, Mike. The worst. So then they they actually have a match. My stupid phone. Drew McIntyre and Baron Corbin. Eight. Teen minutes. And listen, it's not like it was bad in a vacuum. And, you know, Drew worked his ass off as he always does. And Baron Corbin worked hard. But anytime Baron Corbin goes 18 minutes, you lose the crowd every single time. And they lost the crowd. Drew made his big comeback at the end. They kind of got into that. And then after 18 minutes, Tozawa shows up. He steals JBL's hat. Corbin is distracted. McIntyre kicks him and wins. I just thought, what in God's name was the point of that match? What was the point of that match? Doesn't play in a Survivor Series. Doesn't play in a War Games. I mean, it was just to, it was just to put the, in the time. The continuing feud of Tozawa against Baron Corbin and JBL. God. Then we had, you'll never guess... A long, long... Well, first we had OC and Judgment Day. They had just a long fight, you know. And then we had Bianca, Asuka, and Alexa coming out. And then Damage Control, Nikki Cross, and Rhea came out. And they talked, and they talked, and they talked, and they talked. To lead to Rhea Ripley and Asuka, which was 16 minutes, which after the Corbin match and all the talking, this was a tough. this was tough to get the crowd into this match. And they had a good match, but, you know, I think everyone's waiting for damage control and the baby faces to interfere. They're all surrounding ringside, almost like a lumberjack match. And all of a sudden, Rhea grabs her, hits her move, pins her in the middle of the ring to win the advantage. And then they had the big brawl afterwards, and that's how the show went off the air. So, can't say it was the best Raw I've ever seen, but they, uh, they built up Survivor Series. There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's up with the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away. Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> you have to have another drink right now. God help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see I'm, that? I just... Uh, you absolute... Oh God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.